Welcome to the uh, first summit on computer science for all. I couldn't let this moment pass without recognizing Dr. Seymour Papert, who passed recently. And um, many of the people in this room actually knew him and worked with him. Our own CTO of the United States was in the MIT Media Lab. Edith Harrell is here, and she was one of his graduate students. And um, to give a short tribute and talk about the long-lasting legacy of Dr. Papert, we have Joy Buelamwini from MIT Media Lab. She is a graduate student there. And just look her up on LinkedIn. It'll kind of make you feel somewhat inadequate. <laughs> Hello, I am Joy, a poet of code on a mission to show compassion through computation and the founder of Code for Rights. Today, it is my privilege to honor Seymour Papert, a visionary thinker and a beloved educator who recently passed. Seymour's powerful ideas continue to shape how we think about children, computers, and learning. Seymour introduced the idea of constructionism. That is the theory of building something in the world, right, to build something in your mind. Seymour was one of the co-creators of Logo, the first coding language for kids when people didn't even think computers should be used by anyone but experts. And Seymour championed the idea of hard fun, right? Learning doesn't have to be easy, but when kids are engaged in projects that they really care about, they'll do the work. They'll do the work. When Seymour envisioned school as a place infused with joy and filled by building projects, he was speaking about learners like me and educators like Jill Connell, my high school computer science teacher who embodies the ethos of CS for All. You see, in a hot classroom in Memphis, Tennessee, she taught three classes at the same time, yes, in one room. And let me tell you, Jill knew what she cared about. She prioritized equity over expedience. She made sure that Andres, who was exploring CS foundations, Nabil, who was pursuing data structures, and this one, taking AP computer science, were fully equipped to excel. She nourished our creativity when we spent lunch time working on personal robots, the hard fun I mentioned earlier. These Lego Mindstorm robots, which I think maybe your, your daughter works on, were a reflection of Seymour's pivotal ideas introduced in his book, Mindstorms. Jill was the kind of educator described in Mindstorms, who created conditions for invention by providing multiple pathways for exploration. Now, I'm the same age Jill was when she took on the One Room Code School. My work continues in her example and Seymour's tradition of constructing multiple and diverse pathways for CS education. At the MIT Media Lab, I invite kids from organizations like Black Girls Code to work on impact apps focused on social justice. His legacy of inclusion continues. We can ensure his ideas live on by making sure that CS for All lives up to his vision. We must commit to enabling all young people from all backgrounds to experience the joy of expressing themselves creatively with new technologies. We cannot think about CS for All without thinking about thinking about Seymour Papert. Thank you.